I don't usually rehearse speeches, but I've been driving around all week rehearsing. I have four speeches. <laughs> um, number two is your, your thing. Okay. First speech is the one I give every year, which is about the amazing thing about musical theater, which is that it is every art form and science. It's, it's graphic arts, it's visual arts, it's painting, it's song and dance and acting. It's unifying those. Um, and the, the comment that I want to make every year is I, th I think a lot of you learned something technical. You learned about blocking or you learned about how to work a piece of, of equipment or whatever. But I think the most important thing is I think a lot of you have learned the most important lesson, which is that even if you're toiling in the back and nobody sees you, what you do is important and there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And that you always strive for the best way that you can and you take pride in that. One of the techies the other day said, oh, it was a disaster backstage. But it was a disaster backstage and you made it, you made the show work. And it's when there are problems and you are smart enough and calm enough to deal with them and make the show happen that you've really learned something important about why we do this. We, we, we do it for an audience, but we really do it for the satisfaction of saying at the end of the day, I really did something important today. Even if it was putting a prop on a piece of furniture, it's not there. Every night, every night, I, I, here's a pen and, a, and a, an ink, and I thought, what if it's not there? What if it's not there? What does she write with, like blood, you know? <laughs> and, and it was always there. So whoever's job it was to put that in that drawer, that was a really important thing. So I hope that you, that you take away, and 30 years from now, you're like old man Pressman going, yeah, when I was in school, you know, I, I put that pen in there. <laughs> and that you can hang on to those triumphs. Speech number two. Um, by accident, a couple of years ago, um, a woman came to teach at Idlewild. She was replacing somebody who basically flaked out at the last minute. And um, I was really pleased that Leslie came to do this show with us. She challenges me because her brain is so quick and so facile. I don't know if you were aware, there were days when she walked into rehearsal and Herb said, oh, and by the way, there's you know, eight dancing couples in this duet. And it happened. And her, I watched her on stage as, a, as an actress and as a dancer. And her professionalism and her absolute passion to me is, is really challenging. I don't know anybody who works harder and, and anybody who puts more kind of self-stress on herself to be excellent and to constantly you know, refine her craft. So I, I heard a very interesting report, some research that was being done about nature and stress and how going to a park or into the forest can lower your blood pressure and lower your stress levels and change your melatonin and all that sort of thing. So, um, are you I, sending me to camp? <laughs> <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. But I just thought that you should have your own living secret garden, so I got you this. Number three, <laughs> teachers, directors, choreographers, conductors have no museum. There's no place where we can go and we can say, there's the picture I painted, or that's the building over there that I built. What we do is we share ideas and we try to inspire, and you are our life's work. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying it because I really felt it more than I think any show I've done. Um, you gave back something to me as a teacher and as an artist 
that was um, just constantly overwhelming. I mean, yes, I love this show. And what I love is the fact that so many of you have come to love it too. That's what we do. We share. And, and I, I, what I ask of all of you is as you go from this experience to the next experience, be proud of yourself, always, with justification. Um, and, and always, always go from here in a way where you would say, Mr. Hall would be proud of me. Mr. Cressman would be proud of me. Annie and Bill and Leslie and Lauren would be proud of the way I take care of my costumes when I work in somebody else's show, the way I prepare my music. Because if you do that, you will be a very happy person because there's a lot of frustration in the arts. And the, only, and the person whose opinion that is most important is your own. Okay? And so that brings me to speech number four, which is the hardest. I decided about two weeks ago that this will be my last year at Beverly. Um, I cannot think of a nicer show to go out on. Um, I'm not leaving because of anybody in this room. I'm leaving because I don't know what's happening with my health, and I want to spend some time working on it. Um, I, I will probably teach voice. Um, I'm available. <laughs> and and it, it turns out I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> and um, maybe come back and substitute teach. You can always hire me to conduct the musical. Um, but it's, it's time. Um, 38 years, not counting the four that I went to Beverly and the time in between when I was um, coming in and filling in for Mr. Holmes and teaching classes and coaching a production of the Fantastics and doing other things. So what is it, 1963 to 2013? That's older than many of you. <laughs> okay. um, and, I, and because I'm going to be away, at, for, you know, possibly for my spring concert, and I don't know, you know when I'll be coming back to school, um, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, taking advantage of this opportunity to tell you, so many of you I care so much about, thank you. I am very proud of my career as a teacher. I'm proud of my students. I'm proud of the work that we've done together. And nobody knows more than a conductor that um, you can stand there and wave your arms all you want, but there's really not much that happens unless there's a lot of good people out there mm -hmm. willing to accept that leadership and, that, and the responsibility. For those of you who are not seniors, there's a lot of really good teachers out there, and it's up to you to uphold the high standards of this department and this program. And um, I'm not going out there to die, folks. <laughs> um, and I, you know, I will certainly follow your careers. When you get your Tonys, I expect you to say, I owe it all to Mr. President. He really does. Okay. He says it every time someone doesn't say it. <laughs> Except that I'm worried it'll end up like Kevin Klein. <laughs> For those of you who don't who know that movie. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so, I mean, there's, there's no good finish to this except to say I love my family, but I love all of you in a way I never thought I would as a, as a teacher. Thank you. <laughs>